This is the best defense to use in Madden 23. Got it. Oh my god. It has everything you need to stop the run. Shut down the pass. And takeaways, takeaways, takeaways. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Today I am once again backed by popular demand going to be using the New Orleans Saints offensive ebook but on defense I'm going to be using a brand new playbook that to me is probably the best defensive playbook to use in Madden 23 right now and it's a playbook that I haven't seen anyone using or even talking about and that playbook is my brand new defensive ebook the Denver Broncos. I went through every playbook in Madden 23 and this is the only playbook that had the 3-4 odd which is the meta run defense, the 4-3 even 6-1 which is one of the meta base defenses and and the quarter 137 which is the meta pass defense in my opinion but it also has some of my favorite formations that i've put out lots of content from already this year from the dolphins defense which is the 3-3 cub the dime 1-4 the dime 2-3 which is basically the dollar as well as a new formation that i'll be making a lot of videos about in the future including today and that is the 4-4 split this formation is the main reason i'm switching to this playbook since it's the only playbook in the game that has the 4-4 split the 3-4 odd and the quarter 137 defense in it before i get into the video if you guys want to see more defenses and more gameplays like this as always please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button or let me know in the comment section but if you don't want to wait you can check out this or any of my ebooks right now just simply click the link in the description or the top pinned comment and it will download instantly to your phone or computer or you can have it sent to the email of your choice i start this game off on offense and both me and my opponent will be using the gun stack y flex offense i put out previously this year i would say it's my offense because this was one of the first offenses that i put out in madden 23 but i can't help but notice a lot of other youtube channels are picking up on how overpowered this offense is and are making videos about it basically showing the exact same setups that i've been putting out all year plus a few mistakes in order to set this play up optionally we can block our running back or put our running back on an out route what Bro, what are you talking about, man? Who alters the wheel route? Like, that is the best route in this offense. I'll have links in the description for all the videos that I've put out about this offense as well as on-screen pop-ups at the end of the video, so please stick around for that. I recently put out a new play adding to this offense in a video that I made called 7 New Glitch Routes that I made the other day. I'll have a link in the description for that as well. The play is called the Curl Combo, and I keep this play in my audible adjustments at all times, just in case I run into somebody running Man Zero Blitz, which is basically something everybody runs. All you need for this play to work is somebody to run either man zero blitz or man one and put their dbs in a press and that's exactly what it looks like my opponent is in so i make my adjustment which is really just fading the x route or the square receiver whether you're on xbox or playstation if your opponent is pressing the lead receiver will get jammed but the receiver behind him will get left wide open for an instant td but my opponent didn't press he just pinched the defense to look like a press but i throw it up anyways it still looks like my man has a step and if I would have gotten a better pass lead away from the safety, that probably would have been a touchdown. My opponent might not know about that trick as it is brand new, but he is already hard flagging to take away this real route. Nope. And Jalen Hurts is still rated way too low to complete a simple screen pass off of his back foot. <laughs> What the hell was that? So I quickly get into a third and ten and have to switch over to the Saints Fort, which has multiple routes that can pick up this third and long, and it's probably the most unstoppable pass play in the game. I will have a link in the description for this play as well as I easily hit my primary target. I call a hurry up just to keep the pressure on him to give him little time to make adjustments. He obviously knows this play as well as he shoots for the tight end, but it is too late as he started too far away once the play started. On defense, anytime I see my opponent in a shotgun, I'm going to call the quarters 137 under smoke defense, as this is probably the best pass defense in the game, in my opinion. It can shut down the run, too, as my opponent only gets a few yards on the first play. He calls shotgun again, but since he ran it the first time, I switch over to the 4-4 split cover to invert, which is a much better inside run defense, as well as a very good pass defense, as we get the instant sack from the QB contain. One of the reasons I like this defense is because the play he was running would be a one-play touchdown again, Against cover too but it's not against this defense all you have to do to set this play up is put the safety into a middle third 
And it takes away anything deep over the middle. The cover two invert corners do a way better job of covering deep outside as well as the cornerbacks usually have much better speed and much better zone coverage ratings than safeties, who I find get torched in a normal cover two coverage. Other than that, I just have to pinch the defensive line, spread the linebackers, and this defense is a very good pass and run base defense that a lot of people don't know how to handle. On the next play, I switch over to a cover three though, and he beats me right up the seam for the first down on third and long. We go back to the cover two invert, and you can see nothing is really open. Open as he throws it late and out of bounds. Nope. Then on the next play, we get an instant shed and another sack. But on third and 17, this play has a similar seam as the cover three, although I feel like this covers it much tighter and he makes a much more tightly contested catch. I decide to send more pressure and go back to the under smoke play and he hits me with another inside zone. I stay in the defense this time and either the coverage is tight locking down his receivers nope. or the pressure gets in fast enough to force a bad accuracy throw. <laughs> Nope. But the crosser was open, so I have to watch for that. On the next play, I see he's in the same formation of the play he just ran. So this time, I follow that crossing route. The pressure forces the throw. Gotcha, bitch. And we will call that a punt as we come away with the user lurk. I go back to the stack wide flex offense, and this offense is really all about the running back. Whether it's running against spread defenses with the inside zone, or whether it's hitting the wheel route in the flat. I get into a critical third and two, and I get this stupid glitch where it won't let me hike the ball, which has been the game for at least a year now. EA Sports, it's in the game. So I get pushed back to third and seven because EA sucks and they probably will never pass this glitch. He accidentally ran commits on the next play and I don't feel bad for him since accepting that penalty was kind of a bitch move. Yeah. He starts blitzing like crazy to force back-to-back -back incomplete passes. Woo. As he quickly gets me into a third and ten once again before jumping off sides to make it a little bit more manageable. On third and five, I read man coverage, but it turns out to be a zone, making all my adjustments worthless. Run. So Jalen Hurts does Jalen Hurts things and muscles his way for the first down. He goes back to man coverage, and I go back to my man-beating plays as Goddard almost scores on the next play, getting inside the five and setting up that wheel route once again, which is probably the most unstoppable thing about this formation. We can block our running back. I leave him a lot of time on the clock, though. On the first play, the pressure gets in for another instant sack, but on the second play, he gets all that back with that exact same crossers play that he was using earlier in the game. Then on second down, he uses one of my glitch routes against my man zero for this exact same offense that I'm using, and I luckily get the tackle to prevent the touchdown. Now he is using my own offense against me, and I know that that offense is one of the metas against man defense, so I switch back to the cover two invert once again. We stop on the next two carries, but then on third and four, with only one timeout, I go back to the under smoke expecting pass and that was a mistake it was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up as i miss an open field tackle and give him an easy walk-in touchdown he gets the ball after half and i start my cover two invert once again and nothing is open as you can see he throws it away the play that he called was actually a good cover two concept too as this route here typically beats the safety outside but it does not beat my cover two corner on the next play i go back to the under smoke once again and every time i do this he just runs right up the middle only this time we get a big hit stick and the fumble for another takeaway. I see he's in what looks like man press once again, so I switch back over to the curl combo only to find that he is once again just pinching the defense. I still get inside leverage in a one-on-one, -on -one, so I take advantage of that with a very big play. I try to run a screen play and I see he's running to cover two hard flats. So on the next play, I think that I can pull the cornerback down and beat the hard flat over the top. But I cannot see, I'm legally blind. And that was a bad decision as I almost throw a pick six that Goddard comes out of nowhere to save. I go back to running my cover two invert and I almost get the ball right back as the safety just doesn't come up with the catch. This defense's biggest weakness though is probably the linebackers in the cloud flats as you have to set your zone drops. On the next play he beats me with a corner route to the outside that I probably could have stopped if I had set to 20 to 25 yards. The following play he beats me into the flats with once again if I match with a zero flat would we'll easily take that away. He gets inside the five and I finally decide to set them to zero but it's too late as he punches in on the ground on the very next play to tie it up. Back in offense, I go back to the wheel route and the inside zone combo to pick up an easy first down before trying to run a screenplay only to suffer a huge sack for a loss instead, and we have to punt away. Back on defense, we try to throw him a curveball and come out in a 33 cub cover for match that I put out earlier this year, hoping that it'll give him something new and confuses him. And it must confuse him enough as he decides to run with the quarterback when he sees nothing open. On the next play, I switch over to the cover three blitz, completely forgetting that he has switched to the inside zone every single time that I've come out in a small defense like this. And on the very next play, he makes me pay for it as he takes it to the house. 
taking a seven point lead late in the fourth. I don't like being down late like this, so we go back into the Saints fork as every route here basically gets open, and we go right down the field in two big chunk plays. We hit the slanting running back to get to the 11 yard line, then we run the hurry up only to make our second huge mistake of the game, turning it over inside the red zone again for the second time with only three minutes left. Houston, we have a problem. I switch over to the Sam Will Blitz so I don't give him those huge run lanes anymore, and we get back to back stuffs to force a third and long. Now we know he has to pass, so we come out in the under smoke one more time and get instant pressure, Woo! almost getting the safety. He goes foot on fourth down, trying to win the game by keeping possession of the ball. I see he is still in the gun tight, and I know that PA Crossers is his money play down, since he's been running it every time he needs a big play. So I take away the first read with the crosser, as the pressure forces the throw, gotcha, bitch. and big play Slay lives up to the name by tying the game at 21 apiece. With two minutes left, this guy has no shame because he goes right back to the exact crossers play and I go right back to the Sam Will Blitz because I know he wants to run some more clock. On second and seven, I go back to the under smoke taking a chance that he won't run again and it pays off big time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh. As the pressure forces a fumble and Hassan Reddick is going the other way to take the lead as we score two defensive touchdowns in a little over 30 seconds. I know he has to pass now, so we go right back to the under smoke, and on the next play, we get our third takeaway in under a minute. And I don't know if he massively choked or our defense just went straight God mode. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think as we run out the clock ending the game. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'll have more from the offense that both of us were running as well as more of a breakdown on the under smoke defense. So if you guys want to see that, just click the links on the screen. And other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.